Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna try this again. So Lewis Rossman has said something, and I couldn't really understand exactly what he was talking about. So um, what happens? Is, what happened was he put out a video saying that we need to start paying for free software, and I find that not the greatest thing for him to say coming from him, because the only software I've used from Fudo so far is GrayJ. And Gray J is not nearly as good as uh, what the fuck are they called again? Revanced or uh, New Pipe or whatever. You know, it's it's just not even on the same level. And I know it's early in development, but maybe he should have waited to make this video until his software was actually competitive with the free options, like the actual FOSS options, not his bullshit license. Because like, what he had done was. He said, uh, I'm going to make this, quote, open source, but no redistribution so that nobody can distribute malware. Now, the obvious counter to that would be just use the fucking GPL. You know, just use the GPL because then all of the clones of your software that want to spread malware, they have to be open source too. So I don't see why this is a problem. Now, what the real reason was and what he didn't tell you uh, was we don't want redistribution because then you're not going to pay us for our software. You'll just download the fork. You know, that's that's the real reason. So I kind of don't like his attitude there. I don't, I don't think it's really in the spirit of open source. It's definitely not in the spirit of free software. But his main argument boiled down to he fucking cherry-picked Nextcloud, which is like, yeah, I understand Nextcloud is kind of primitive. I don't really use it. I think Disroot uses it, and that's the only reason I have Nextcloud. But I don't use it. I have no need for it. So he's talking about how great the uh, the paid option is, you know, this paid software. And I'm like, yeah, but that's not really true in a lot of cases now, because especially as Linux becomes more popular... Uh, it's starting to show how primitive Windows is and how a lot of their stuff is not only super locked down, but also not really the best experience, you know, and as because Linux is open source, it is getting much more, uh, it is getting much more support. And uh, because of that, it gets better while Windows is getting worse. Now, obviously, he was saying we need to pay for open source software. And I just don't really see the reason for that. I mean, because people always bring up that developers need to eat. And I'm like, yeah, but they're already eating. If they weren't eating, they wouldn't be developing the software. <laughs> like, they would have much bigger problems on their hands if they were actually homeless, you know? So I just don't see it as an issue. I don't, I don't see why people would think that. But uh, the main thing he was saying is, uh, what if we were to... Or, sorry, no, and then people showed up in this comment saying, uh, yeah, I've been developing this free, free software for the past, like, five years, and I've gotten $200. It's like, maybe you shouldn't be making free software. You know what I mean? But a lot of times what happens is, uh, when you have, when you make paid software, now you've got to compete with a much, much smaller user base because now you don't have the luxury of your shit being distributed on Linux uh, or as a, you know, from other repositories, you know what I mean? Because once you start having a paid binary, then people have to go through the hassle of downloading your binary from you. So that's always, that's always a trick in and of itself because now you're competing not only with the free option, but now you're also competing with the paid options. And if your stuff isn't good enough for people to actually pay for, then good luck getting any money for it, you know? And I think a lot of these projects, yeah, they work as free projects because they're not nearly as professional as like the pro tools, but I don't think that they're, I, I think that they know that they can't compete on a, uh, on a paid on a paid option you know what i mean so i think though that this is just kind of a misunderstanding of the word free because people always say oh yeah freedom doesn't mean uh, it means free isn't freedom it doesn't mean free isn't free and i'm like no th there is a there is a point to be made that it's free as in free because if it wasn't free you wouldn't be able to redistribute it so you know i don't understand this argument I don't, uh, I think he just said something completely false, you know, 
But yeah, I do think that FOSS actually has more benefits than people make it out to be. And one of them, obviously, is that you get much better support when your end users are also your developers. When, when you turn users into contributors, this is why the cathedral and the bazaar kind of debunk the notion of having a uh, cathedral method of development where you have the smaller team and then you don't have contributors on the outside helping you. And with paid software, that's kind of how it ends up because even if you open source it, you're not going to get as many contributions back because your code just isn't, isn't as open as if you had made it literally free, you know? as in free as in free beer, you know? So, um, and because of that, I think that FOSS software will always be in a position where it's much better than the paid options. And I think footage is, or FUTO, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, the fucking Futanari software over here. Oh my God, I swear. Uh, please don't call your company fucking foot <laughs> FUTA. <laughs> That's such a horrible name. But anyways, I think that's why they're always going to be somewhat farther behind the FOSS options is because they aren't FOSS. Like, and if they were, they would have much better development. Uh, I just don't see their software as... And, you know, the users will the users will obviously complain at them, and that's why Rossman was so pissed off about it. It's like, yeah, you have paid software, so don't be surprised when people fucking bitch at you for it, you know, because now your end users are actual customers, <laughs> you know? So, yeah, they're going to have a lot to fucking say for the software they just paid $10 for. But obviously, you know, I know that contributors and FOSS stuff were act entitled to, and it's like, yeah, I mean, everybody's a contributor. So, yeah, people are going to people are going to have opinions on the software that they use and contribute to, you know? So it's whatever. But anyways, I think he needs to, like, quiet down for a bit until uh, until his software is competitive with the free options. Because uh, I don't... I, I paid $10 for Grey J. I paid for a Grey J license, and I stopped using it because it's such a buggy piece of shit, you know? And it's like, yeah, I switched back to fucking New Pipe, you know, because... Yeah, why not? And I may actually get flagged for this one, but um, hopefully not. <laughs> let's hope YouTube lets this one stay up. I'm hoping that because I've got less subscribers, it won't be a problem. But this will be a little test upload to see if I'm even allowed to mention his fucking software. Yeah, alright, thanks.